We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. Her family. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today we're making some mini sweet potato pies, y'all. Yes, the small ones. And here are our ingredients. Here I have put my sweet potatoes in a pot and I'm, I let them boil for like 30 minutes on a medium high heat. Here I have placed my sweet potatoes on a paper towel and I let them cool off. And so um, now we're going to uh, remove the skin from our sweet potatoes. Here I'm removing the skin from our sweet potatoes. You can use a fork or a knife, whichever you want to use, or they you can just use your fingers because they are easy to uh, remove. Here I'm cutting off the dark part of the ends. Uh, I always remove those. Make sure to remove as much as of the screens as you can, but this is optional. Some people say they, they don't mind the screens, but if you don't want the strings in your uh, sweet potato pie, you can always remove them, okay? This will help to remove some of the screens, but not all of them. Here I'm cutting up my sweet potatoes and we're adding them to this large bowl. Here I'm looking through uh, these sweet potatoes to make sure there isn't any dark spots in here that we don't want in our pies. Here we're adding our butter. and our sugar. Letting y'all know you can also happen the white sugar and add brown sugar. You can add the white and brown sugar and this really makes your pies taste amazing. And I'm gonna use my mixer just to make sure the butter is all melted in there because our sweet potatoes were still warm, okay? Here we're adding our eggs. our evaporated milk, our nutmeg, allspice, and a pinch of salt. And we're going to mix all these ingredients together before adding our vanilla and lemon extract. Here, we're adding our vanilla and our lemon extract. And we're gonna mix this together. Make sure all your ingredients are well incorporated. Here, I'm showing y'all two types of pastry shell. These are the ones that I purchased at HEB. And here's the ones that I purchased at Walmart. Here I'm placing our shells on our baking pan. Here I'm placing our pie filling into our pie shells. Remember not to overfill your pastry shells because you want your edges to be nice and crispy. Now we're gonna place our pies in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. If you want more crispier crust edges, leave them in there another five to 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna be back with the final result. 
Okay, y'all, our pies are all ready, and they taste so delicious. My grandkids couldn't wait to taste them. A mother at our church used to bring these and sell as fundraisers. Y'all, they were so, so delicious, and they bring back so many wonderful memories. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all can get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all. As always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now. Love y'all. Stay safe and be blessed. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit.